It's 946. This gallery is the city, and the artist's canvases, buildings made bright and beautiful with the inspiration of a muralist. The unframed project launched last summer in the New Orleans Arts District, and in the months to come, more murals will be added to the growing collection, free and readily accessible to anyone who walks or drives past. Alphonse Smith is the executive director of the Arts Council New Orleans. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I'm doing okay. How are you? Uh, excellent. So uh, he, here's one of the things that just is so fantastic about the project that you're doing. When you walk by a building and it's more than just brick and you see that color and that art, it just brightens your day. And you you all are pushing forward and you've selected a new artist uh, to, to create another mural. Tell us about Jessica Strahan. So, yeah, we're, we're very excited to, uh, you know, roll out Unframe 2.0. And we're, we're even more excited to announce uh, local artist Jessica Strahan as the first artist of three uh, in the second series of Unframed. Jessica is a local artist here in New Orleans uh, who paints pictures that reflect uh, you know, African-American life, um, the African diaspora, and so forth. And so we're, we're, we're really happy to be uh, opening up the process uh, by announcing Jessica Strahan. Uh, we're, we're getting a, a look at some of the art that she's done here, just phenomenal. And to see that on the side of a building, I know, is, is going to be uh, just a, a breath of fresh air for everyone who walks by. The interesting thing about, about this project in particular is that Jessica is getting some help from uh, some young people in New Orleans, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right, right. So, you know, for every unframed um, series, we want to make sure that we have opportunities for community members uh, to, to join in. And so uh, Jessica is, has proposed the idea of um, having uh, youth from pre-K through 12 participate in the project uh, through sort of a sort of contest where young people will be asked to interview family members about the cultural history, uh, especially food of New Orleans. Uh, and then the, the young people will create a unique portrait showing the importance of art and food that will be used. At least one of the designs will be used by Jessica and her new mural. And that deadline submission, I see, is ju uh, July 1st. So there's still some time for all you kids out there who are watching. If you have, uh, you know, a, a concept that you want to enter in, you can still take part in that, right? Yep, yep. Make sure, make, sh make, sure that you, make sure that you take part of it as soon as possible because I know that our young people are going to have a lot of bright ideas, so it takes some time to, to put those ideas together. But you can find out more information at the Arts Council's website at artsneworleans.org. So he, here's the thing of, about Unframed, and just murals in particular. Obviously, they, they stand to brighten so much of our community in a really visible and tangible way. Uh, but Unframed is also working to try and, and bring in more. What, what's the total objective about the Unframed project? Yeah, so Unframed, uh, presented by the Hellas Foundation. So the Arts Council, we had a burning desire to bring... Uh, uh, a large-scale mural project to downtown New Orleans, similar to what you're seeing in other major cities across the country and the world. And so we were fortunate enough to partner with the Hellas Foundation to bring uh, Unframed Downtown to do, uh, to accomplish some of the, the, the goals that you mentioned, but also to sort of aliven public spaces, to drive traffic to downtown. Uh, hopefully that, you know, so that the, the galleries and the restaurants downtown can benefit from that increased traffic. Uh, and just to put New Orleans on the map as an international and national destination for public art. We think it's achieving that, and we're really excited about the results. Well, I know I'm excited. I'm sure everyone else is excited to see what it's all going to look like when it comes to fruition. <laughs> Alphonse, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.